So, we got a hotel at the Hilton Toronto Airport or something like that. A bit sketchy checking in, but it's all good. Um, I used booked it with points, so thank you for points. Um, and I'm in the, the so let's go find my room. Ooh, I love the glass. Welcome to the Polar Oxygen where we make life crazy. So, weird intro, weird place to start my intro. We're gonna do a room tour and then I'm gonna go to sleep because I am absolutely knackered and losing my mind right now. So, like I was saying in the lift, I booked this um, hotel with points. It is literally, you can see right there. What does Drake say? Six God. A freaking love. So just because of Drake. Yes, it is one of those things. And I want one of those um, raptor dinosaurs. So if I find it at the like, airport, I'm going to get one. So anyway, enough of me rambling because I need to get to sleep. So, and see, I learned my lesson. Keep my check back with me and I'll definitely add um, a tip on how to uh, check your check like your check your carry on but not only check it but check it to your connecting destination so that you can use it um what do you call it sorry i'm sleeping i'm sleepy but i will after this i'll have like a voiceover or like a tip how to check your carry on to your connecting destination so you don't have to lug it around the airplane but anyway back to the hotel tour you walk in so i was absolutely knackered by this time of my flight so i am not making sense so i'm just going to do a voiceover now and i am still knackered because knowing me it's 2 a.m while i'm filming this video so let's get to how you can check your carry on back to your connecting flight so I was flying Air Canada, and normally a lot of places have where their overhead bins are uh, at full capacity. So all you have to do is, um, at the gate check area, go up to the desk and say, hey, would it be possible to check my carry-on back to my connecting flight destination? And most of the time they were, they will say yes. I um, was flying Air Canada. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can't speak on it because um, this was my first time doing it. Maybe Delta would do it. I don't know. It's but if it's something that small, they would normally do it without a fee. So you just have to make sure that your carry-on bag will get checked to your connecting flight destination, like your layover destination. So I was flying from MSP to YYZ, YYZ all the way to YYJ. YYZ is the Toronto airport, and that was where my X amount of mini hour overnight layover was. So I just had to make sure that my bag, my carry-on bag was checked to Toronto airport. And like any other flight, uh, my bag, I rolled it down to the jet bridge. They would kick it, put it on the plane. After that, um, picked it up like any other suitcase because I was flying on my US passport. I didn't have to do custom, so I was able to grab my bag, go straight to um, hotel shuttles, and get a good night's sleep because I had a flight that morning. But, but like saying before, it's just a nice way to lessen the items that you carry on a plane because we all like to have our sandals with us, but I don't like carrying it. It's not working. So it's a cute little trick to make sure that you have your bag at your layover destination. Okay, back to this very mosh mosh hot mess of a video. Walk in, there is a little closet. I mean, nothing's absolutely special. I am, you guys know me, I'm using this for dirty clothes, so I'm just gonna take them. And like I said, I'm only in here for a few hours. Um, so I'm not really worried. Obviously, I'm going to save the bathroom for last. Excuse a mess. So like I said, I did book this um, with points. And it seemed like the... No, it didn't seem. The two-bed option was 32,000 32, points cheaper. So I think it was 72,000 points for one bed. And it was only with two beds so obviously take the two bed the lady downstairs was super nice and wanted to upgrade it to a single bed but i said i don't care i'm not that picky two nice size beds nothing really special obviously canada so same out was as the u.s there is a little fridge which is nice we have um, ice coffee for the coffee people um, oh, I always love the lights with uh, these things. It's always super nice. Uh, television, I don't want to touch anything um, right now because I haven't um, did my wipe down, which I normally do. One thing I do all dramatically love about this hotel, it has the rubbish bin and recycling. 
I love a hotel that recycles. We have <laughs> mirrors. Love the full length mirror. This is actually a really cute idea. Having the full length mirrors with a picture in it. I kind of like it. Luggage rack, which is always nice and needed. I'm glad it's there. And finally, another mirror. I'm loving hotels with all the mirrors. Love it. Bathroom. So it is a pretty tiny bathroom. Um, Crabtree and Evelyn stuff, which I love. Crabtree and Evelyn. So I'm going to take some of that. And we do have the reusable things. I am not a fan of that, but I understand the sentiment. Um, but, um, personally for me, this is a good layover hotel. Or if you're... Yeah, this is a good layover hotel. It is farther out of the city, so I don't know. It's like in Muskoka. Muskoka? Muskoka. I have no clue. But it's in some other part, but it was only like a five minute or less drive away. But I'm going to be done rambling because I am knackered and I want to go to sleep because I have to wake up in about like three hours. So, so on, that on that note, I have no clue how I ended this video, but I'm just going to say a good night from the six and hopefully i can find a toronto raptors raptor stuffed animal because that would be clutch so